Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Showcase where today we're going to be taking a look at the Airsoft Gun War Mod which allows us to take the world of Airsoft Battle to the biomes of Minecraft. Now this mod adds in a ton of guns and weapons as well as enemies, teammates and more and also stay tuned to the end for a fierce Airsoft Battle. So without further ado, let's get straight to it and this mod is actually fairly simple and fairly unique unique in the way that it works. It's really cool. How are you doing, Treoris? You haven't stolen that laptop for a while. Please don't break it. Please, please don't break it. But anyway, let's go into the testing chamber. You've kind of seen a preview of these guys. We'll get to him later. Seen a little bit of a preview, but we'll get to that in a bit. So basically, the way this mod works is there's actually only a couple of crafting recipes. The main idea is you spawn into a world with nothing and you need to prepare to fight against the red team to be able to survive basically and the way you do that is with these bad boys which are airsoft loot crates now you've seen some of them spawning randomly already these were not placed by me these have just spawned in and it's quite unique in the way that when you break them they kind of spawn in just one item from the mod which will help you out It'll either be a gun could be food could be a grenade could be something completely random but what happens is they kind of spawn like mobs they have a very similar spawn behavior as mobs so when you break one it doesn't mean that that one is gone forever so check this out there's some spawning on the roof and everything so let's get to breaking some of these open and seeing what we get inside so let's spawn them in just like this as you can see they kind of move around as well which is kind of unique too so let's break this one what do we get we get a snack which is very helpful we also get a sound grenade and we also get a bag of ammo or bbs which is very very handy as well let's spawn some more and just have some fun with this see what we get smack 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 let's smack it all oh i've broken the lab a little bit there don't don't take a look at that let's just um, patch that up a little bit. The trails will never know. But what do we get from that? we got lots more packs of BBs and we've actually got some guns here. Now we're going to take a look at all the guns in a second. But I'm just showing you what kind of loot you can get. You can get um, really powerful guns. You can get weak guns. You can also get more ammo. Really cool stuff. So let's just quickly put all this away and go and look at each gun individually. So here is the Airsoft equipment. And we start off with the smallest gun which is the Airsoft 1911. And you also need the appropriate magazine for it so i'm pretty sure that whenever you get a gun it will be full of ammo so this will be fireable straight away but when it runs out you're going to need the appropriate magazine as well and as i mentioned earlier there is only one crafting recipe so when you run out of ammo you'll need to pair it with some bbs to be able to make the magazine full again but i'll get to that in a second so here we go here's the airsoft 1911 we also have the beretta which is really cool we have the echo one and these are kind of going up in power as well so this is the Dragonov. We also have the M4A1 and we also have a Scar, which sounds amazing. Now, I'm going to grab one of my little piggy friends here, as you can imagine, and bring these in and see how much damage these bad boys do. So this first one is the Airsoft 1911. Wow, it actually does a lot of damage. Did you see? It kills the pig in one shot. Look at this. What on earth? This is so OP. This is so OP and this is just a single shot when you hold it down you kind of have a less drawback time or a, a less time between rounds anyway so it takes a while to fire sometimes we then have the Beretta which is a little bit quicker let's see what this guy does um it's gonna make quick work of these pigs I'm sure look at that look at that it's just it's so OP it can get you bacon for days which we always like to see in a diamond minecart mod so um let's go for an echo one as well this one's more like a shotgun so it's probably more powerful but it takes longer to load of course this is going to kill pigs in one shot and then we also have um, the Dragunov, which is a semi-automatic kind of rifle thing. Then we have the really, really powerful guns, which are the powerful automatic guns. This one, look at that. That's just gonna that's just gonna kill pigs left, right, and center. Look at this. Let's just try and look at this. Oh my god, bacon for days. There we go. That is so good. That is literally so good. So let's move on to the final one, which is the Scar. And this one is the fastest and the most powerful as well. And you can also break crates open with this as well, which is really handy too. So what we're going to introduce you to now is let's just open this crate too. There we go. Beautiful. We've got a nice little bit of, um, what do we get? We've got some magazines, which is good. So I'll quickly go over how the magazines work for a second, which are in here as well. So when a magazine empties, let me just um, grab, what's this one? This is the M4A1. So that is this one. So we're just going to game mode zero quickly. 
and run out of ammo so this one is completely full right now you'll see a durability bar come at the bottom of it kind of showing you how much ammo you've got left let's just get it all out the way drain it to zero and then we can reload it and it'll be pretty awesome so there we go it's completely empty it won't allow me to fire anymore but if you grab an appropriate magazine and we actually need to empty it so there's an m4a1 empty and um you can get those from either a magazine that you have loaded and emptied or from a loot crate as well so we're going to need to fill it up because it's empty so if we grab a bag of bbs and put it in a crafting table together with one of these you will get a full magazine but because this is one of the two most powerful guns you are going to need two bags of bbs to fill it up so then you get this and then you need to right click with this and it will fill up your gun and you'll be able to shoot again so hopefully that makes sense and with the ones underneath so with the pistol ammo for example the 1911 you're only going to need one bag of bbs to fill it up so hopefully that makes sense and we've also got some other weapons as well which are the smoke grenade let me just put these up here for a second the smoke grenade the sound grenade and also the snack which we've kind of looked at already um the sound grenade goes like this which kind of distracts the opponents so if you throw it behind them they might be like oh my god what is going on and just try and shoot there and then we also have the smoke grenade which is really handy it just kind of fires down this smoke and you can just run away and get away from your opponents really cool doesn't give you any effects looks awesome when you run through it but it's really a camouflage method and then the final things are these and of course nice protection so we have these flags right here which are just kind of utilities to be able to play capture the flag because of course this does work in multiplayer as well so you have the center flag which you can place in the center of the game then you have the red team's flag and then you also have the blue team's flag and i'm pretty sure these just break as normal so you can punch them grab the flag run away capture it take it back to your base and win the game very very cool and very very unique as well so the final thing is of course our safety which are the airsoft goggles and they look pretty silly on me because i've got kind of two pairs of goggles but safety first guys always wear your goggles it actually fits around my eyes perfectly <laughs> so what we're also going to introduce you to are your teammates so these guys will spawn randomly around the world this is your blue team and you are actually on the blue team so you need to be wary of these guys they have 100 health but these guns are very powerful most of them will take them out in one shot so be very careful they can spawn with different guns and different armor and stuff and we'll go and find some later but if we go through here um i will fix this later trails do not worry we have he's gone He's actually gone. Let's go over here. I know there's a few over here. That's why I brought the lead and I kept them outside so they wouldn't shoot each other. But anyway, let's go over here and see if we can find any teammates. Um, any teammates or any of the opposite team we need to find. Hello? Is there anyone around here? I need to, I need to shoot you, please. I, I, mean, I mean, I need to keep you in a safe environment. Where could they be? They were around here a moment ago. Okay, here we go. We found some. So these are the red team. Check these guys out. They are aggressive. They have red armbands instead. And if we bring this guy over to the lab with us. Come on, follow me, buddy. Come on, it's okay. We'll just lead you over to our waiting teammate, which is kind of evil, but it needs to be done just for demonstration purposes. I could feed you to the squids if you want. No, he doesn't want that. So let's bring him over to the lab. Go on, buddy. It's not too far of a walk. Treoros has escaped, of course. And as soon as we bring this guy into the lab, hopefully our teammate will shoot him and take him down for us. So here we go. Oh, he's left as well. What is going on? He stayed there for so long and then he just left. Why would you do this? You know what? We're going to have a fight to the death, buddy. So if I go into game mode zero, how much damage is this guy going to do to me? Ah! He just shot Grim as well. He just shot Grim. Grim should be back any second now. Why would you do that? That's so mean. I've lost all my stuff and everything. Right, I'm coming back in creative mode. Grim, where are you, buddy? Grim, are you okay? Let me take this guy out. What are you? What is your problem? What is actually your problem, sir? What is your problem? Why can't I take this guy out? I need to kill this guy desperately. There we go. Take him straight out. He makes a pretty weird sound. All oh, my bacon's on. There he is. Look, Grim is back. I told you he'd be back in a sec. I got revenge for you, Grim. It's okay. So those are really powerful. I guess it kind of goes with the whole airsoft game. Is that when you hit, you're out. So you have kind of like a set spawn point and stuff like that. But I really want to show you them fighting against each other. So let's see if I can find that. We found some red guys. I want to find some blue teammates and then pit them against each other. So let's bring this guy with us and see if we can find any blue teammates. Come on then. Come on, let's find some. 
There we go. Here's some blue guys, and they are going to fight the red guy. So let's bring the blue guy over here. Be very careful, Grim. You don't want to get perished again. And here we go. Here we go. Is he going to get shot? There's a guy right here. Go on. Go on. Just You know what? Stop being... Stop being... Oh, God. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, they killed each other at the same time. So as you can see, they will fight each other. Just stay out their way and be very careful. Otherwise you will die. So what we're going to do now is hop over to a brand new map, which is actually a recreation of a Call of Duty ghost map. And the reason being is because I'm going to kind of show you the way the mod was designed to play. So we'll meet you there, guys. See you in a bit. Well then, guys, here we are. We have arrived in Strike Zone, which is this map made by this guy right here. So what we're going to need to do is try and find and start from zero and try and find some crates before we come across any bad guys. We need to look out for teammates. We also need to look out for um, enemies, of course. Otherwise, we will get shot and killed. So we need to find some crates very desperately for food. We also need to find weapons, ammo, and enough ammo to reload as well. I don't think we're going to find any in here because this kind of has a roof. So let's see if we can find anything. I need some crates, please, guys. Any crates anywhere. Right then, I've made it outside, and I think I see some enemies over there. Oh, look, there's a teammate over there as well. What's going on? Let's break open these and see if we can get anything good. We've got some goggles. We've got some BBs. I need a weapon desperately. I've got lots of BBs. i got a magazine. Let's put um, our goggles on because safety first. Remember, it's safety first. Oh, we've got to smack these open. More goggles. I don't need any more safety equipment, please. I need some guns. Um, what's that? That's a little bit more ammo. It's empty though, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Let's, um, smack these open as well. Got more BBs, and we can load these because we have our personal crafting table here. What else have we got? We've got some more crates over here, and then we're gonna go and try and take out those other guys without getting shot ourselves. Hopefully, anyway, we just need a gun. Go on, give me a gun. Give me a gun, go on. Still lots of- oh yes, I've got one. We've got a Scar AEG, and we've got a Scar magazine as well, so we can actually fill this up too. Um, I think we're ready to go. We've got a cow over here. How are you doing, cow? Take out the cow, take out the chicken, and now we're going to sneak up on these guys and try and take them out. This is the best part of the mod, I think. If you just spawn in a brand new world, or even a map like this, they'll just spawn around randomly, and you can really have your own kind of mini game. Introduce some friends, and you'll have a great game on your hands, basically. So let's sneak underneath these bushes here. The enemy has disappeared. It's disappeared. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? You okay? He's kind of hurt a little bit. Is there anyone else around here? That, did you scare them off? That's pretty impressive. That's really impressive. Let's see if we can find any more around here. Okay, we've got some more crates here. What are we going to get? we got um, a smoke grenade, which is good, or a sound grenade even. We've got um, some more ammo, and I think that's it. Do we get a grenade? Uh, yeah, we do. We've got two grenades. We've got, nice. That's a smoke grenade and a normal grenade. Where are these guys? They kind of ran off somewhere and I can't find them. I will find them though. And, oh, oh wait, wait, there's, there's fighting going on here. Teammates, I'll save you. I'll save you. Look at this massive place. Oh my god, I'll save you. Let's take him out. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yes! Nicely done, men. Nicely done. May I borrow some of your crates, please? I just need these. Oh, this guy on the edge of the world. I got another crate. What else did I get? Um, got some nice stuff. Some nice stuff. Oh, yes, we've got plenty of guns. We do have the best gun right now, though, which is good. So let's fire these guys off the edge. Oh, can I get them from afar? Can I get them from afar? There we go. There's that one. Get that guy too. Yes, done it. We can steal their stuff as well now. Beautiful. Let me take your stuff. There's usually like a spawn where there's a team, a small group of teams, and then there's also some crates around them, which is really cool in the way that that works. Um, how you doing, men? You doing okay? I think I'm gonna pretty much end the episode here. Have we got no snacks? You got no food in these crates? Jeez. Why have you got no food? Look at all those crates down there. They're all lost down there. <laughs> That's crazy. I just want to try out some of the snacks and see how much food they give us. You got no food? Can you friendly fire? Oh, oh. Oh, yes, you can. I need to get out of here. But anyway, guys, that is pretty much what this mod has to offer. It's actually really cool, and I can imagine in a multiplayer setting that this would be an awesome mod. So if you like what you see and do want to play it for yourself, then please do head to the description below where you'll find a link to download this mod. And also, if you happen to be new to the channel, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. And if you did enjoy the video, a like would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks again for watching, everyone. Do check out this mod if it's single player or multiplayer, and I will see you all next time.
I'm good. Bye. <laughs>